What's up, peoples? What's going on? This is Grizz Geek, and this is Raz Holly. And uh, this time around, we're gonna be switching it up a bit. I mean, it's probably still gonna be somewhat of a toy hunt, but not really. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, so it is March seventh. Yeah. yeah. March seventh, uh, twenty twenty, and um, this we're going weekend? to Comic Fest. Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we've actually kind of just got here. We're gonna make our way inside and see what's all about. See if you're enlightened like I am. Then you know that the real show is down below. The booty, baby. What is going on there, Superman? <laughs> So yeah, you know what I just realized? We're idiots. We're we're big ass idiots. <laughs> so we're sitting here in freaking Comic Fest. We went through a whole like a whole bunch of uh, artist alley tables, and there's no reason why no, I, we're not doing this. I couldn't be doing that. Like I already draw. Hell, you guys have already seen it. I have like a couple freaking Let's Draw videos. And I even have like my prints ready to go. <laughs> I have so many freaking work. Why don't I just freaking make prints and freaking like put it on the damn table? And I'm, I should, I, I, I mean, I could probably sell a print for maybe five or ten bucks. I mean, I don't know how much that's going to cost. I don't know. Well, you work in, well, technically so do I. I work in printing too. <laughs> so I could probably, I don't know print out a whole bunch of those and sell sell it yeah. and, I mean it's not, I'm not gonna get like freaking like rich off of it but at least enough to go I don't know get myself a happy meal <laughs> Well, so we're done uh, that was actually pretty fun it was a nice afternoon out of it so oh well, morning morning to afternoon yeah there was a lot more more stuff that I originally thought was going to be there. We hit up the tunnel. That was pretty interesting. Probably, so, probably should have gotten some shots in there, uh, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be, yeah, you know, like like no camera, blah blah blah. blah. So yeah, I just so didn't even our, yeah, our first trip was to the uh, the vendor section. Yeah, um, there was only maybe like two rows of vendors with toys and stuff and comics. Uh, a lot of comics, but uh, well, it's Comic Fest. Yeah, I didn't really pick up anything. I was looking for uh, Power Rangers Turtles, the first issue in color, because mm -hmm. I got the black and white one, and then the um, and I was looking for issue three, which right now that's the one that's the latest. And then we went to same with the big man, big man. Yeah, the oh Phil, uh, crap, what is his name? Shoot, what is his name? <laughs> I already forgot. So I'm so bad. I'm so bad with names. So uh, so Grizz here got some got a poster. But I got I saw this and I instantly knew I had to have it. And it was a good call because this was the last one. It was in his portfolio, and he was all like, "Oh yeah, I thought I had more prints in the in the back and where he was keeping everything at." And uh, but yeah, he he was all like, "Well, since you really like it, I guess we'll just sell you the one that I have in." in the book. 
So he took it out of the book and, and uh, gave it to me. And then he, as Grizz was flipping it over, he calls me up. And, and then... we, and then I saw this and I was like, this is dope. It's a Hanna-Barbera version of, of, the, of Gotham Sirens. So yeah, of course, that's dope. <laughs> And then, uh, so then I ended up picking up this one because it was well, like a deal, right? Uh, yeah, it was like three um, for twenty or something. Uh, no, well, it was more than that. Or what, whatever it was, it yeah. was like a deal. But yeah, so then I ended up picking up the other one. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think it was like three for twenty-five or something like that because it was like ten bucks each. So it would have been like thirty bucks. So it would have been like five five dollars cheaper. But I mean, it's still pretty pretty good. So that was the first grab of the day. Yep. And, and when that uh, was, and this guy was at the um, the vendor section. Yeah. And Where it was kind of spotty. When you think of like Artist Alley, you think of them all like lined up in like one particular area. But there were, some were mixed in with the, the vendors. And then there was another hall where, uh, like literal hallway where all the, I guess the rooms are for the panels. And, um, and they were all lined up there as well. And, and some of the, like artist tables weren't really artist tables. They were like publications because they were like small press or independent. So it was all kind of just mixed in. And then on the opposite side of the uh, the lobby, uh, they had the, the rest of the um, artist alley. Yep. And basically we just bought a bunch of like stickers and prints. Yep, so uh, Grizz met a fellow bear, <laughs> Brian Bear, and uh, he got some stickers. And I, I basically bought out his entire stock of Overwatch stickers because I'm a big fanboy in Zenyatta, you know, main. So I had to get them and, you know, they're all these fun tune versions. I just, I just had to have them. So and it was a good deal. Three for five and I got six of them. So that was like 10 bucks. And, and um, this is another print that Chris picked up. Yep, another print. This one, uh, artist by the name uh, oh, um, Mo Park. Um, M-O-G. Yeah, M-O-G and uh her cute little signature <laughs> and then there's another print that there is oh, upside down there go. and um i forgot this guy's name as well um but yes. it's uh wonder woman and then uh the uh african-american uh version of wonder woman which is uh that would Nubia? Be rodney anderson jr yeah so you could check him out at uh pen Penpa flip, Penpa per flavor, per flavor. Here, yeah, that guy. There you go, <laughs> that guy. That so dude. yeah, so he did the two versions of Wonder Woman, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, I really like that. Um, what's her name? New, I think her name Nubian is Nubian or something. Nub like Nubian or Nubia. Yeah. Um, and she's pretty cool. Like for the longest time, I, because I've seen her image around. Like there was a lot of other artists who were doing fan art, African American version of Wonder Woman but I wasn't sure if that was kind of just like a side thing or if it was um in canon and apparently it is in canon so now I got to go hunt down the book <laughs> and then, uh, so and he also got his first comic book yeah this one it's uh it's called uh, Trinity Blade yep it's um it's basically a it's very Joe Mad <laughs> very Joe Mad very Dungeons and Dragons you know action adventure the artwork inspired. is pretty sweet uh I, I really like the artwork a lot yeah so yeah, it's definitely it's definitely really, within really my well wheelhouse. Done. Yeah, like because uh, the guy that was next to him, who does who, what they were during the same publication. Yeah, um, he like didn't have any backgrounds or anything, and I was like, oh, you know, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, so this company's not that great. But then when he's like, yeah, with the three of us, and then I saw his work, I'm like, holy crap, it's like completed. Yeah, like, like it should be like out. Like it reminds me of, like. 90s image yeah exactly so, it's very sorry uh no to, uh late 90s 2000, early 2000s 2000. Yeah. it's very battle chasers there you go yeah you know yeah he even had shirts with his artwork did you see yeah that? yeah <laughs> yeah he he had like, um full prints yeah it was a uh, sublimated uh sublimated shirts yeah he went all out and yep. uh so you know i had to had to give him respect for that yeah <laughs> there you go I'll, and, get, I'll get his name and uh, uh, Ricky Fang. Ricky Fang, yeah. There you um, go. Really dope. I ended up talking to him for like a really, really long time. Um, we started like we started kind of just meshing about like uh, art style, what, like how we created our what got us in, into it. He's also in in graphics. Well, like oh, yeah. as far as his day job, he, oh, yeah, he also yeah. does graphics. 
he does like CAD work and I'm like, oh yeah, I do graphic design. So it's so all like, yeah, like it's cool, like it's creative and all that stuff, but the passion is, is the illustration, it's the drawing. And uh, so yeah, like we, we this is a uh, Zenyatta. <laughs> And, and this is the Metro. Same, same guy, Ricky Bang. Yeah, Ricky Bang. Yeah. Really cool guy. Exactly. Uh, it's very reminiscent of like, like old school Scotty Young to me for some reason. Uh, mainly because of that, that heavy line weight, uh, bold, you know, colors. And um, yeah, like like I said, I, we just started meshing and kind of chit chatting. Um, I think, yeah, I think I spent like a good 30 minutes to 45 minutes just talking to Yeah. Just him alone. And then I felt really bad, so I roped him into it. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, my buddy over here, he also draws. Yeah, so I was like, oh man, I was like, I'm not I was not ready to for that. So now we're gonna be ready for uh Rocket Con because that's what yeah, we're exactly. talking about. So that's gonna be getting like some uh, business now. cards and all that in two weeks, so you'll see more than that. Oh you ended up getting the ramen sticker? Yeah. Oh man, I kinda wanted the I wanted a pin set, but it, I wanted, but it was so expensive. $50. So yeah, so I, there were these pins for these um, for this ramen set, <laughs> and yeah, it's, fifty bucks. Yeah, so oh, it's pretty funny. Instant business. Uh, oh man, you're gonna have to flip the. Uh, I just noticed that. What? It's it's, it's backwards. Oh, that should be fine. Because it's mirrored, we're we're watching it mirrored. Oh, okay. So, and there were these um like really elaborate um, enamel pin sets of these, but they were like fifty bucks for the set. I'm like, yeah. Like uh, that's cool, but and I want to support. I'm definitely down for the artist, but you, you little, gotta give us a chance. To that's support. a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this is? Freaking Comic Con? <laughs> this is Comic Fest, damn like, it! <laughs> it kind it kind of sucks saying this being an artist myself, but it's like no one's gonna buy your stuff at fifty bucks. Yeah. Like you're nobody well, knows you and. And we, we've we've noticed that with art shows where it's like I would put my prints up for what 10 15 bucks mm -hmm. and you're putting out yours up for 60 yeah. and mine were selling every time yeah and then once you drop yours and I mine went up we kind of yeah we got 20 we, bucks exactly 25 bucks then they sold exactly. so it's like I, I I know it's so cool you know your 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 pins and they cost money but you're not gonna sell it yeah bucks, exactly man. I mean it's a, yeah you're gonna have to <laughs> you have to kind of earn that cool value a little yeah. bit which kind of sucks because it's just like 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 i said i mean unless it's like just really freaking dope like it's cool you know don't get me wrong it's freaking cool but like it's not like it's not like i haven't seen it before yeah like either. pen paper flavor uh he had a uh what's it called he had some metal prints yeah and it made sense to sell those at 30 bucks you yeah, know exactly 40 bucks or whatever because they're, they're metal yeah and they're also like the real like it was this size but it was the, the metal prints yeah okay so then what from what i got so i ended up getting uh from this booth uh was it uh amen nation or something yeah. like that amen nation yeah so amen nation i think it was like a like a uh, religious thing or whatever but really cool people and uh, they did all this. I know is the girl was cute yeah she was so if you're watching this video you're really cute sorry and um, <laughs> so yeah so um, this is like a compilation of different artists doing comic books and stuff so that's pretty cool like different stories uh, they signed it and even drew in it a little bit and then so I got the pack which was this book a sticker which is like a soda sticker it's in there somewhere oh, and then uh the, the reason why i really wanted it was this print of Raphael and casey jones and it's just really awesome i talked to the artist for a bit you know like oh what are you you know where do you get your yeah you talked to from? this artist for almost as long as i talked to yeah ricky fang <laughs> yeah so it's like and i really don't talk that often but i was like i need to know this because this is where i want to get to right here that's what I was like i didn't know what to, i didn't pick this guy's brain so yeah, so I had to get this thing. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, and then there was another artist that um, I kind of felt bad for because, like, he, like, I'm into character design. So I like his character design, but I just feel like, oh, yeah, that's from uh, the same one from Amen, Amen Nation or whatever, Soda Pop. So Soda Pop is this guy, Mikey. Um, so this other artist, he... Uh, Kind of felt bad for him because you know he's just beginning he's not all that great but uh i did like his character design so i ended up picking up his set that was like 15 bucks and 
It came with uh, three comic books incandescence so uh, I really like the character uh, but what really caught my eye which you can't really you can't really see with this but he also made paper dolls of his character so um so that's her right there uh when she was all dressed up as the incandescent incandescence character as this one it looks super cool and I was like I need to get that paper doll so it came with the paper doll the two comics uh there's uh, other outfits in the back so that's pretty cool. I've always been into like the whole paper doll thing. I even have like an art piece like that. Um, this was the other one. He did 31 days with like, an incandescent. So he did a whole incandescence inktober thing. So that's what that book is. And then I also got a print. So all that was 15 bucks. And I thought, I don't know. I just, this was the one that stood out to me mm -hmm. from all of them, but it was like, oh, Disney princess mashup uh, comic book cover. So I got the uh, Snow White one with, uh, you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So. So those were my picks from today. You know, just wanted to support an artist. I thought I, I support thought the arts, support yeah. the local arts. And uh, so yeah, the whole time we just spent it like moaning and moping about, oh look at these people, they're doing all this stuff, and oh I was doing we're most, so lazy. Yeah, I was doing most most of it. <laughs> we've done art shows. Why can't we do this? Exactly. Like <laughs> we've done it in the past. There's no reason why we can't continue to do it. Yeah. You just, I just got lazy. It's so stupid. I'm not gonna. I'm not. We're gonna idiots. <laughs> just like we said in the earlier. Yeah. Yeah. We we're, were idiots. idiots. We're so. dumb. We're big old dumb dumbs. So yeah. <laughs> so that was our picks. And... Yeah. So hopefully, maybe ten episodes into ah, this, it'll be uh, adventures into being an exhibitor. <laughs> ten that episodes. would be pretty cool. Ten episodes in. <laughs> um, this is the second episode, so. Yeah, well, the next episode is going to end up being Rocket Con yeah. in two weeks. Rocket Con episode three. You know, the uh, uh, Geekathon continues. So, yeah. So, I want to get something cheap to eat because. Hunger. That's it. Like, I spent my money on artists and supporting the arts. Yeah, supporting the arts. And I'm sure you did too, so. Yeah. Yes, I did. So, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. Peace, we out. And... Tingly do. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that in years. Tingly do. Oh, I'm going to bring that back. What's up, peoples? Thanks for tuning in to another Flawedcast video. Uh, that was me and Raz in our misadventures through Comic Fest. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, like, subscribe, share if you feel like it. Uh, that would be very helpful to me. So, that's pretty much it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.